simulation is a tool that's actually employed in lots of industries. In healthcare, what it means is that we try and recreate the same patient care situations that our students will face when they're doctors. Typically, that involves an actor, that we create a situation around a patient having a heart attack, a patient who's short of breath, and we build in elements that recreate the reality. So those elements include things about the patients, what they say, what their symptoms are, but it also builds in other elements of reality, like what environment are they in? Have they got a bed? Have they got a drip running? Have they got oxygen running? And so by creating all these elements of reality, we can give our students a challenge to come in and be part of that scenario that is similar to the one we now face in the real world. And obviously the advantages of that is that we can do that quite safely here and we can really accelerate the learning of the students so they're not waiting to do practicing on patients as it were, but rather they can practice in the simulated environment. The translation of the book work into reality is what simulation is all about. Knowing something is one thing, but actually making it happen is another. And that's always the challenge in healthcare. Simulation is a very exciting place in terms of its future development. What we do know is that things like material science and screen-based technologies just gets better and better. And we'll just see the gap between the simulated environment and the real environment, I think, become narrower and narrower. And that will mean the quality of simulations we can do is better and better. Uh, and that's only going to be good for our students.